I'm going to show you three vectors and you're going to tell me whether they're equal or not. So here's a line and on this line we have this green vector, this blue vector and here's a yellow vector on the side. Let's label them. This is A vector, B vector and C vector. Let me give you some more information. All three of them have the same magnitude and they're facing the same direction. They're all facing right. So tell me, are all three equal or are they different? Okay. So at first you might think that all three of them are equal and they may be equal. You, you're probably right, but that's not always the case. That's where types of vectors come into play. So all three of them have the same magnitude and the same direction. And yet all three could be different. Here's how. If we treat these three vectors as fixed vectors, and this is the type of vector. If we treat them as fixed vectors, then the starting points are fixed. So A's starting point is this, B's starting point is this, and C's starting point is this. Because all three of them have different starting points, none of them are equal. All three of them are different vectors. We can say that all three of them are different fixed vectors. But there's another class. If we treat them as sliding vectors, this means, as the name suggests, you can slide these vectors along the line. So this makes A vector and B vector equal. So if we're treating them as sliding vectors, then they can move along a fixed line, which means you can move this A vector on top of B vector. This makes A and B equal, but C is still not equal. C is along a different line. And here comes our third class, our third category. If we treat them as free vectors, only then they're all equal. So if they're free vectors, you can just put A vector on top of C vector. They have the same magnitude and the same direction. And you can do that with B vector as well. So all three vectors are equal. And in school, I was only taught about free vectors. I didn't know that fixed vectors and sliding vectors also exist. So depending on which types of vectors we're dealing with, we can call these three equal or not equal. For this chapter, we'll be mostly dealing with free vectors. So let's make some vectors. Okay. How do we make a vector? We need direction and we need length. We need magnitude. So let's start with a line. This is the line. This never ends. It moves in both directions. So this is the line. Let's direct this line. Let's give this a direction. So let's say that this line moves in the right direction. So we have directed this line. This is called a directed line. So we're moving from this direction to this direction, but we also need length. We need magnitude. So let's say that for this line, we move from this point to this point in this direction. Now we don't have a directed line. This blue thing is a directed line segment. And that's what a vector is. So vector in simple words is a directed line segment. It has a direction and it has a length. If it's moving from this point to this point, we call this the initial point and this is the terminal point. A terminal point is where the vector ends initial point is where the vector begins. And this length, this is called the magnitude. And how do we name these vectors? We usually do that with small letters. We can say that this is a vector, small a, or if you're labeling initial and terminal points, if this is point a and this is point b, we can say that this is a b vector. a b vector means we're starting from a and we're ending at b. And how do we define the magnitude? Well, we put a mod sign, mod a b vector, is equal to mod of a vector is equal to whatever the length of this vector is. Now, these are some key words that we need to define vectors. Let's look at different types of vectors. Here's a line. We have a green vector, a blue vector of shorter length, and then a yellow vector. Let's label them. We have a vector, b vector, and c vector. Let's take some examples. In an example where a vector and c vector have the same direction, they're both facing right, and they have the same magnitude, their length is the same, then they're called equal vectors. We've just seen that magnitude and direction are same. So they're called equal vectors. Another example is when they have the same starting point. Let's say we have this vector D and D and B have the same starting point. When two vectors have same starting point, they're called co-initial vectors because initial point is same. So co-initial vectors. Another example would be of opposite direction. If D and E are both facing opposite directions, D is facing this way, E is facing that way, and they have the same magnitude. 
so opposite direction but same magnitude then we call these two vectors as negative of each other e vector is the negative of d vector and d vector is the negative of e vector in some sense they both cancel each other out they have the same magnitude but they are moving in the opposite direction we also classify vectors just by looking at their magnitude so if c has magnitude 1 if mod of c vector is 1 then we call this vector a unit vector it's a special name unit means one which means just by saying that this vector is a unit vector we are saying that this vector has magnitude 1 in this example because a and c are equal we would also say that a vector is also a unit vector and there is a special vector which has magnitude 0 so let's look at this point vector f vector this vector has magnitude 0 and we call this the zero vector we we'll later learn that if we add d and e if we add these two vectors we'll get a zero vector and here's one more and we have to be careful here if the vectors are facing the same or opposite direction both of them count are there vectors which are facing the same or opposite direction let's have a look we have a vector c vector and b vector all three of them are facing the same direction so a b and c they're called collinear vectors why collinear because if we're treating them as free vectors we can put c on this line so a b and c will all be on the same line hence collinear are there more examples of collinear vectors have a look yes there's one more pair look at this vector d and e both of them are facing the opposite direction so we can put e right next to d and we can say that d and e are also collinear so these two are collinear these three are collinear a and c are equal c is a unit vector and what else b and d are coinition now let's practice here's five statements and you have to tell me whether these statements are true or false the first one is a vector and minus a vector are collinear two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude two equal vectors have equal magnitude two vectors with equal magnitude are collinear two collinear vectors with same magnitude are equal now pause the video think of some examples this will help us learn these definitions better okay let's do this together a vector and minus a vector are collinear yes if this is a vector and this is minus a vector which means it's facing the opposite direction with the same magnitude they are collinear because to make vectors collinear we have to be facing same or opposite direction opposite also works so yes this is true next one two collinear vectors are always equal in magnitude hmm if they're facing the same direction does that mean that their magnitude is also equal not necessarily look at this example both of them are facing the same direction but this blue vector has a larger magnitude so this is incorrect this is false two equal vectors have equal magnitude yes that's true because for vectors to be equal they have to be having same magnitude and facing the same direction so these two vectors are equal these two have the same magnitude so this is true two vectors with equal magnitude are collinear again the same issue just because the magnitude is same doesn't mean that they are facing the same direction look at these two they both have the same magnitude but they are facing different directions so this is false two collinear vectors with same magnitude are equal now if you rush through this this might seem like a true statement but think about it for vectors to be collinear they have to be facing the same direction or the opposite direction so if you pick the opposite case if we have these two vectors one facing down the other one facing up they're both collinear and they have the same magnitude their lengths are also equal but they're not equal vectors they're opposite vectors so this is false 